Hi. She just met me. He just met me and he's like, I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Where are you going now? I'm going to London. You're going to London? Yeah. I'll see you in London soon, yeah? Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good Thank to you. see you. Nice to see you. I think I need to put the whole family then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's phone number. Let me get phone number. Let me Good evening, what's up beautiful people? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And uh, I'm on my way to Kigali, and I, I have only 48 hours in Kigali, and I want to show you how I'm going to spend 48 hours in Kigali. I don't want to come along with you guys, but I think I need to show you where I am and where I'm going in 48 hours. You all should subscribe, and um, I think it's going to be an exciting vlog, man. Finally landed in Kigali. I believe that my 48 hours start now, even though I couldn't get my bag. But one travel hack: always make sure you put an extra clothes in your carry-on. I go, I learned this from my wife, so I big shout out to my wife. So yeah, it feels good to be back in Rwanda, um, one of my favorite countries in Africa. I landed here with an ordinary passport, but um, the immigration officer saw me, you know, like, oh, that's Maya. And they gave me a diplomatic, you know, arrival. So I didn't go through the queue, it's just straight for my passport to be stamped. So yeah, let me just take you guys to my hotel. It feels special in time I land in Rwanda, yeah, but um, the love is still there, you know. Food over everything, so I just landed. I'm not, I've not even checked in, my bag is still here, and I just have to eat before I go to my room. So, this, this is the food for today ah, food for breakfast, and I'll get back to when I'm done eating. Finally, checked in in my hotel room after 14 good hours. This is gonna be my home for three days, and yeah. I hope there's a lot that is gonna be happening in the next three days that I'll be able to share all the excitement with you all. Whoa, this is so cool though. Yeah, it's a huge TV. I'm gonna show you the washroom slightly. This is the, um, how the washroom looks like. All right, so yeah. Time. Sleep. Good morning from Kigali. Today is actually my first day in Kigali and I have one more day to go. My bag is still not here, but lucky enough, I had this clothes that my wife put in my bag that I should just put it in my bag in case of anything. And this clothes was actually for a dinner gala that I, I know it's on the itinerary of the things that I'll be doing in the country. But then it becomes a savior. So the program starts today. If you don't know why I'm here, I'm here for Africa Business Heroes. Uh, Africa Business Heroes is more like a, a foundation that was put together by Jack Ma. Uh, Ali Baba in terms of um, showcasing local talent, supporting entrepreneurs in Africa and also giving them more like a grant, you know, so it's a, a competition of 50 African entrepreneurs and at the end of the day, they're going to select uh, 10 of them and out of the 10 people, they're going to share $1.5 million among the um, 10 people. And I'm here, I mean, this is not the first time they've been inviting me for quite a long time and this is the fifth edition. And I was like, you know what, 
uh, I hate to decline things, even though I've declined the first and second one, but uh, for the fifth one, I really want to know what it's all about. I really want to get the chance to meet some of the entrepreneurs across Africa because I think the previous one, most of the entrepreneurs that were featured in, I got a chance to interview them. They were Most of them are on my channel, especially Nava from Kenya, Ender Shoes. And this time around, I just decided to come in here to build network to meet African entrepreneurs from different part of Africa yeah so that is the main reason why I am here so I'm just going to have my breakfast pick up my phone and then just head to the uh, event center and whatever comes up I'm definitely gonna share with you guys don't forget to like this video share to somebody subscribe and be part of this awesome family and I'll see you all in the next one come along with me yeah I'm here Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like the whole, it's like, I would say that, I, I want to be honest, yeah. I feel like 20% of Rwandese watches my videos, man, because from the airport, even walking in the street, people are saying, hi, Maya, welcome back, enjoy, you know, Kigali, which, which is incredible because, I mean, I, I, I still feel loved in here. But I mean, being back, in Rwanda, people think I'm here for uh, the gorilla naming ceremony, of which I'm not. You know, everyone is saying, are you going to Musanzi? Are you here for... And I'm like, you know, I'm here for another purpose. So yeah, I'm stepping out, going to the event right now. I hope I'm not late. But it's so nice walking in the street of Kigali, feeling safe, because this is the safest and the cleanest city in the whole of Africa. I, I, like, I would like just to salute you in Kinyarwanda, Mura. Mura. Uh, it means how are you? Oh, okay. From which country? From, you take me to, from Ghana. Oh, Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kwame country. Kwame Kuma country. I've been there. I've been there. Many, many, because black stars, mm. many around is like uh, black stars. They like black stars, eh? Yeah. All right. So you take uh, some pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So nice to see you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. My name's Hassan. Hassan. Yeah. All the best, man. All the best. Thank you. The name? Maya. Maya. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice Maya. to meet you. Yeah. You live, you live in Rwanda? No, I'm just here for two days and I'll go back. Wow. Yeah. Nice. You visit Rwanda. So your first time in Kigali? No. Oh. I've been coming. This is like 10 times. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you know, you, know, you, you, like, you, you like the country. Yeah. Come on. If you really want to know why Kigali is super clean? Just look around, man. I don't know if you guys have seen it. This is my feet walking. Let me, let me just show you details. You will never find even a single rubbish or maybe a single plastic <laughs> the only thing maybe you could find is maybe a leaf you know there's nothing you can't find anything on the ground you can't find anything and this is why i keep on saying rwanda should be a model for so many african countries so you see there's a flower and then you see the flower on the floor that's the only thing you could find but when you talk of right plastics, you won't find even a single one on the ground. Not even a piece of paper. Hi. Good, you came back. You came back, guys. I was just looking at where you're going. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to know if you wanted a tour, a small tour, not a big tour. See, yeah. he, thought, he thought I was here. Yeah. <laughs> to tour around and he decided to chase me just to come and you know take me around yeah man i love you man I love you too bro thank you you're randis no i'm not randis where I'm are you from malawi. from malawi yeah, yeah. how wait no, a minute yeah <laughs> you're from malawi yeah i'm from malawi bro. oh my goodness <laughs> ha did you tell him again uh theo theo batu yes, oh Batu. my goodness yes. can i can i put a camera on you yeah, sure, sure. Jeez. See, <laughs> I've What's been up, looking brother? for you for years. Really? And it's good to meet you in person, man. Quite well. Ha! Huh? Yeah. Nobody told you that I was looking for you? No, no. I was I, I was the whole of Johannesburg looking for you at the clubs. I, I mean asking people. Yeah. Can you let me meet this guy? Finally we meet. Finally Whoa. we meet. You know, I was looking for 
African entrepreneurs, yeah. South African entrepreneurs in South Africa, and then majority of the people mention your name. Really? The, the guy with the shoes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my That's goodness. <laughs> for real? Yeah, for sure. And when I saw your name on the list, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to Kigali. Probably this is the best way to meet this guy. Absolutely. Perfect timing. No, Perfect that's timing. amazing, yeah. man. Well, I, I would see. Yeah. Do, do you know Hi, her? Hi, I know you. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> on LinkedIn. Yes. Kevin, you know each other from LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Congratulations. Thank you. For being part of this. How is it going? Have you pitched? No, no, I'm going to pitch now. Mm. Uh, I'm here for this one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pitching next. I, I was not supposed to be here today, but I'm like, if you're pitching today, then I'm going to be on it. Because oh, I've been looking for him for you. a very long time. So cool. The same way I was looking for him is the same way I was looking yeah, for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so it's, I ended up meeting Nava from uh, and uh, and yes. the shoes. Yes, yes, so yes. I went to a factory in um, in, in Mombasa. Mombasa. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then I went to a factory. I also went to a shop, but I never saw yeah. it. But for yeah. him, I was all over the place. Yeah. yeah man. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're still so doing your research. You're no, so I, I, I have to because I'm a big fan of supporting African entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, my whole goal is to bring African entrepreneurs out, showcase their business. Um, Thank you. you. Missed this I, I was I, waiting I, for you. They said I'm on the same flight as you. Why do you always miss can, can you believe that? Oh, can you believe that I didn't even know I was flying you. on the same day? Tell your audience wow. why you always, for somebody who travels around the world, yeah. he always misses his flights. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. How's it going? Good. It's going? Yeah, I've been looking for you, you know. Oh, but yeah. it's not difficult to find me. Five, I know where to find five you. Minutes so I'm actually at the event center where I am. It's called Norskin, Africa's biggest hub for entrepreneurs, where entrepreneurs meet, share ideas, also um, have their own businesses in here. I think it's a, it's a unique... Uh, concept for entrepreneurs across the continent. Hi bro, how are you doing? Okay, bro, how are you? Good. But at the moment, there is going to be a session that I really want to attend because I've been looking for this guy for a very long time. He is a South African shoemaker. And yeah, when I was in South Africa, I was looking for him. So knowing that he's part of the top 20 entrepreneurs, I just want to be in the session to listen to his pitch. And maybe, yeah, uh, we'll connect after that. and. Uh, I'll try and probably do a story on him when I get the chance to go to South Africa again. Pleasure to meet you too. Hi. My name is Zuera. I'm from Nigeria. From Nigeria. I heard you speaking to the shoe people. Here okay. All right. Yeah. Are you part of the 20 semi-finalists? I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually here for some other meetings and I saw this and I decided yeah. to show. Wow. I'm also an entrepreneur. Okay, what do you I do? I'm an African inspired baby care brand. Oh, nice. I'm botanicals in Nigeria. Wow. Inspired by my premature triplets who are seven years old. Wow. I mean, so you're based in Nigeria? Yes. Lagos. Maybe, maybe <laughs> when I get the chance to be in Nigeria, I'll get the chance to tell your story maybe. Oh. So that'd be amazing place. let me yeah. I'll, let, let me give my contact let's keep in touch when okay. i get to nigeria i'll let you know all right yes yes thank you thank you all right good afternoon Theo. i feel like i entered at the awesome. right time right so right right so right 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 right. hi everyone my name is Theo Baloyi. i am the first employee of batu across 52 countries the unemployment rate in africa is 9.53 percent with the value contribution being south africa at 29.81 percent dominated by youth unemployment in South Africa, which contributes 51.52%. Interesting fact, South Africa actually ranks number two on youth unemployment. Unlike myself, I'm a product of opportunity. An accountant by profession, had a privilege and opportunity to work for one of the top four accounting firms, PwC, for five years. Two years in South Africa and three years in the Middle East. Oftentimes when I went back home, home being in Alexander Township, one of the most impoverished countries in, in South Africa, I would realize that a lot of my youth and my peers are unemployed, or our youth and my peers are unemployed, which is a true testament to the data that we see over here. And I thought, I became a crazy guy. I'm like, I need to go back home and be of service to my community. And I started a business called Batu. Our vision is to build a shoe brand that Africans can proudly affiliate with. Right at the core of our mission, we want to reignite hope and create sustainable jobs. Then I went on to a journey. I did about 18 months of research and development. Interesting findings from my research says that we've got about seven regions in the world, across the globe, seven continents. 
if you look at all the regions, there's always a specific, there's always a food, foodware brand presentation in whatever region. For example, take South America, two main brands over there, Ipanama and Havanians. We all know the states, right? Nike, Full Night, Anna Armour, Kevin Plank, and Chuck Taylor, Condes, and a lot of European foodware brands. But when I came to my own beloved continent, I couldn't find a foodware brand, especially in sneakers, that can be benchmarked with those sneaker brands, and predominantly in sneakers. Then I got onto the job to build a shoe brand that Africans can proudly affiliate with. I became a crazy guy, left my fancy job at PwC, <laughs> got, got back home to real service and to start a business that can somewhat be a contributing factor to growing my economy. Today, that business employs over 300 people with wow. over uh, 32 brigade motor stores. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! To be in Africa on the no, map. I, I, I was watching your presentation. <laughs> you? Yeah. How did I? Do? No, that was good. Trust was me. It? I mean, I, I realized that there was one judge that was trying to intimidate you, and you're like, no, I know what I'm saying. You know, that, that was amazing, man. Thank you. What, what do you do? Because I, I couldn't record that because I was watching from right. the other side. So I run a digital company called Mobi Health. Hmm. Um, our platform connects users in Africa with doctors and medical services around the world, seamlessly from their phone, computers, or walk-in tele clinics. Hmm. Nice. I wish you all the best. Thank and you. Um, what is the platform so that uh, Mobi Health International? Mobi Health. It can, is it Mobi Health International? Is it an app store? You can find it on app store. Is it an we app? We have the mobile app. We have the web application, and it's called apps.mobihealthinternational.com. You got you got everyone clapping in the room, man. Thank you, man. You know that was an amazing. Thank you, brother. Uh, pitch right yeah. over there, man. Yeah. Um, tell us more about battle shoes, man. What? people need to know about bat issues so we are a proudly south african sneaker brand and i think our mission is to build a shoe brand that africans you know can proudly affiliate with right at the core of our mission we want to reignite hope and create sustainable jobs you know we want to build a brand that you know everyone in africa you know um, across the globe can really look into a food brand that they can say this is from africa you know and they'd be proud of it and, and walk okay in their journey in respective um fields of, of life yeah one thing that really touched me the fact that you are also providing i mean free shoes for um it's a high school or yeah school shoes that's so, amazing uh, uh, tell us about that so um we i did it looked at the market and we know that the market is situated you know with a lot of big brands right so we thought about where where will Batu be in the next 15 years in the next 30 years right and we thought about building our little own future consumer call it that you know, someone who's in primary school you know they don't even know their papers they don't even really know their dream and what they want to become but one thing for sure they've got talent and they want to be great someday you know and one day they're going to be leaders of the society so we want to be a shoe of choice in walking that journey with them you're in grade one we come we bring you school shoes Grade 5, we give you school shoes for free. Potentially, maybe one day when you are going to higher education, we sponsor your education. So that one day when you're the president and you're an executive and you're a leader, you would know what brand walked the journey with you. And mm. that is our aim. First time, man. Nice to meet you, bro. <laughs> nice to meet you. You're okay? From Kampala. From Kampala. Wow, Matoke. Matoke. <laughs> Matoke family. Yes. Are, are, you, are you also from Kampala? No. Matoke. Matoke family. You see, that is your favorite movie. Exactly. Uh, Whoa, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you from Kigali? Yes, I'm from Kigali. Yeah, yeah. Rwanda to the world, man. <laughs> I'm from Kampala, Uganda. You're My based? name is Frank. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm based. Mm -hmm. So um, I am 26 years old. Oh. Yes, so um, I started a company called Women in Business Media Africa. So this is a company that is online with a mission to tell the African female stories in wow. business, startups, investments, everywhere. Um, we go ahead, uh, within, especially within the region in East Africa, to get stories. What are you doing? Um, you get on board, you tell us what you do so that maybe we could have more women uh, get inspired by these stories that we do share and wow. then we post them on our social media handles. Right now we're based in Kampala but we, we hope to extend our operations in, in Rwanda and we're into the process. Um, I'm a father also a, a growing startup. Ooh, what do you do? I'm doing software company. Okay. All right. What kind of software are you creating? 
Uh, we are creating mobile app from um, system management. Okay. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from DRC, Congo. Wow. <laughs> Hi, my name is Miriam. I, I, usually I don't look like this, but uh, just like <laughs> I'm looking like this because I'm sick. So I am from Morocco and I just um, met this uh, handsome guy. And... What am I from Ghana? <laughs> Yes. And, and we are all here for one common goal. We are here because of ABH. Yes. And um, yeah, I mean, I got an English audience and she got the... Uh, uh, yes, a Moroccan, like an Arab audience. Can, can you give us some a bit of Arabic, you know? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Can you tell us how to do it? I'm Smiti Maryam. And I'm happy that I'm here today. I'm going to talk to you in this video. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I got lost. <laughs> I got lost over there. But it, it, it's... Also meeting you, um, what do you create on your channel? What do you do? Vanna? Yeah, so I am uh, basically talking about marketing and business on my uh, Instagram channel. So I'm just like talking about strategies of big brands and trying to simplify things for my audience because I have a business and marketing background. So and this is my passion. So I just like uh, create videos about that. Hmm. Yes. You all need to go check it out. Yes, it's also meeting you. you. And um, yeah, I mean, very soon you hear me speaking Arabic just because of her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's so funny. You guys are lucky to follow him because he's a handsome and so 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 good guy. Thank you. Hi. How are Hi, you? I'm good. How are you? Good. That was an amazing presentation oh, out there. Thank I mean, you so the, much. You're, you're amazing host. Oh, thank you. Where, where are you from? I'm from Rwanda. From Rwanda. Yes. Mora Moraho. Moraho Neza Ah. <laughs> finally, we got a representative. Ah. Uh, that's like. Thank you. Oh, that's why welcome. Cheese. Uh, Morakoze. Morakoze Chana. Morakoze Chane. Chane. Yes. yes. Is, thank you. It's amazing. So, what do you do? You're a host or? That's no, so I work with ABH. Oh, okay. Uh, on their programs and partnerships. Okay. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. You're Rwandese. I am. It's nice. Yes. You don't look Rwandese. You actually look so, like a Nigerian. You know, I always give that. People ask me to confirm, so are you fully Rwandese? And I'm like, I am. Uh, your father's are. from Nigeria? Yeah. No. <laughs> your father's not from Nigeria. <laughs> you, you don't think the dad is from Nigeria? She got a very West African nose though. That's what I'm saying. So I heard that like even last night you were like, are you fully? Yes. Oh, so okay. So yeah. you see? So I'm right. No, you're not. Right. She, she's not Ghanaian though. She, oh, she's what? This one? She's from Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> are you not from Jerusalem? Shalom. Uh, Andrew. How's everything? Damn. Uh, yeah. You look good. I lost the lot already. Wow. <laughs> Is that you? Yes, it is. Anyway, um, today is um, day two yes. and the last day for the ABH pitching. Yes. And in the evening, we're going to have um, dinner and it's over. Then I'll head back to my country tomorrow. But anyway, is it your first time in Rwanda? Yes, it's my first time here. First impression? Very nice country, very nice people, very nice food also, but not as I got his food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying my time. I have is the best time of my life here. Oh, okay. Is it, is, it, is it your second country in Africa? How many countries have you been so far? Um, ten countries. Ten countries. Yes. Your favorite country so far in Africa? What? Your favorite country in Africa so far? My own country, Senegal. After I can say um, this country, Rwanda. Wow. Even if I'm not here for a long time, I will come back to visit. Okay. And after. I will say Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Yeah. Very nice okay. country. Very nice people. Very nice food also. I like food, you know. Wow. And I want to go to your country. Please come. <laughs> and I believe that when you come to Ghana, you start saying that Ghana food is the best. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you, this is no war with jollof rice. Because you will have the best rice in I the world. I never say that. <laughs> <laughs> I never talked about jollof rice, but she wants to bring the war, you know, but it's okay. It's okay. Because y'all yeah, imitate us. Wow. That, <laughs> that's, that, that's heartbroken, man. You know, like, we is imitate... It, uh, is it on? Yeah, it's on. It's on. Hey, it's recording. Oh. But anyway, um, we're just heading to the venue. Uh, I think the last day and a lot will be happening today. I'll get a chance to meet some few Ghanaians that yes. are doing incredible stuff. So, yeah. What's up? What's up? What a great day, yeah? Amazing day, man. What, what do you say about the second edition? 
I mean, today's the second session, right? Second session, second How session. How is it? I mean, these entrepreneurs are inspiring, man. Uh, if you hear them pitch, uh, you immediately want to start a business and impact people. But you have a business yourself, right? Another one. What business do you do? I help young people gain experience and get employed with top companies here in Rwanda. And I help employers find some the most talented people uh, in the country. But you're young yourself? Yes, sir. So, a young man helping young people. <laughs> what's up, what's up? Rio. Which one is your favorite session today? Um, Zipay and Shari. Oh. From Morocco, Zipay from Ghana. Oh, they okay. were very sharp, very inspiring, and also very right. experienced like in their the field. Hmm. So okay. I think that they're, they are good. They can be in the top 10. Okay. <laughs> So I, I'm excited to see the people who qualifies for the top 10. Yeah. I can't wait to share with you. And I, I know I was not part of the top 20, but I believe that I'll be in the top 10. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. That, that would be magic, right? And say, what am I from Ghana? What business? So these are our incredible judges uh, for the past two days. Uh, your name and um, which country are you from? Let me swallow my food, man. <laughs> I love that. I, love I like that. your question. You, 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 country? Which country are you uh, from? Hi, uh, my name is Hassan. I'm from Bahrain, actually. Mm. And how was the past two days? How's it been? Amazing. It's always great to see all the entrepreneurs from all around the continent and the new ideas and the amazing founders and what they've been able build, to build. It's great. At some point, I felt like you guys were a little bit mean. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel like the questions were too much. Yeah, yeah. You know, are, you, are you trying to make them levels? <laughs> no, I think so. I, I think it's a lot. Of, that's how you show love to entrepreneurs because wow. <laughs> the market out there is so tough. You can imagine um, if a question uh, saves you one year of work and a couple of millions of dollars of uh, lost money. Uh, I think uh, no matter how tough that question is, that's a lot of love, and uh, you just have to be courageous to ask these questions. Hopefully then they take it well and they reflect on those things. Well said, Ken. Clap for him. Clap for Ken. So the two is not over. We are on our way for a boot camp. Yeah, hi, how are uh, you? You're most fun here. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Yes. Appreciate you, yeah? I did the subscribe when you have 10,000 subscribers. Ha, and now we have 1.4 million. I love you, brother. <laughs> Yeah, hi, how are you? How are you? Good to see you, yeah? This guy's waiting for me. I need to rush. <laughs> I feel like I need a whole day in Rwanda just saying hello to people that watch this one videos. Because it's it's really exciting, you know, knowing that you are in a country that isn't your country, but everybody sees you and be like, hi Maya. Thank you. Hi. 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 We're all here. So this is where we'll be having our boot camp. And what is the name of this place? Fazenda Senga. What happens in here? Uh, it's a fun place and tourism place. That you come and see the horses. We have the zipline. Have a tree. We have paintball. Oh. Quad bikes and everything that is making. Do you have bungee jump in here? Yes. Right. Bungee jump. Mm. I want to jump from the top to the down. Yeah, do you have it? Yes. Yeah, I want to do that. I think I have my last few hours in Kigali and this time around I'm joined by, we call them international friends. <laughs> <laughs> international friends. <laughs> Very international. Where, where are you from? Philippines. Philippines? Yeah. Kamusta? Magute. Hey, okay. And uh, where are you from? Hungary. Hungary? Is, do you speak English? Which one, which one do you speak? Of course I speak English. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you, know, you, know, you know, like English is the first language? Or? No, 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 Hungarian. Oh, wow. You need to learn Hungarian. You're the first person to meet, so I can't even greet you. In, so you need to teach me oh my God. how to Am say I hello. First Hungarian first you ever, ever met? So I will never forget you. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to learn? Tell me. Hello. How to say hello? Hello. Yeah. 
Is hello. hello? <laughs> no, you can say see ya. See ya. Okay. See ya. Okay. <laughs> Not see you, it's see ya. See ya. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's nice. So, um, we are all in Kigali, yeah? I mean, um, is this your first time in Kigali though? Yeah, yeah. First time? How's the city? First impression? It's uh, very clean. <laughs> That's what everybody says. <laughs> That's my first impression. That's Kigali's what everybody says. Very say. charming. Really? Oh, very cute. Yeah. Very, cute, very city. cute city. Oh. <laughs> oh. You asked my first impression. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get in a day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's our last day and this Ugandan guy. What up? This Museveni's son. <laughs> Museveni's son, man. Russian freestyle. Museveni's son is here adoring the beautiful Kigali. Hey. Wishing when will it come to Uganda too? <laughs> I hope this video reaches you, Museveni. <laughs> Muraho. Muraho. Yeah. <laughs> Amakuru. Amakuru. Nimeza. Nimeza. Ah. Mm. <laughs> See? Yeah. Still, I still got a language. You know? Yeah. I was uh, speaking Kenya Rwanda. How are you say, how are you in, in Kenya Rwanda? How yeah. are you? Amakuru. Amakuru. Yeah. Then you say Amakuru. Nimeza. Nimeza. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You speak Chinese, right? Yeah. Oh, ni hao. Ni hao. Ni zama yang. Ni hao. Ni chen zai jungo shiba. Okay. You're here to learn about history. What, what kind of history are you here for today? Um, I've been coming here a lot of times. Yeah. So I know maybe everything. I just want to teach you today. Please, I want to Please. learn. That's why I want to learn. <laughs> so we are here at the Bajan uh, Memorial here in Camp Kigari. It's a place dedicated to 10 Bajan commandos who were protecting the Prime Minister in 1994 genocide. And they were here under UN uh, mission. So they got killed in this place, exact place, in 1994 genocide. They protect the B Prime Minister who was not Tutsi because the genocide was normally focusing on killing Tutsi. But they got killed because that Prime Minister was not supporting the idea to kill people, even though she was not a Tutsi. But she was not supporting the idea, why are you killing these people? These people are innocent, they have never done anything. So they, uh, they took them, they took uh, the government that was ruling the country that time in 1994 genocide, they took them and then told them, okay, we want to send you back home. But instead of sending you, them back home, they brought them in this place. Long ago in 1994 genocide, this used to be a military base. Wow. So they brought them in this place and then put them inside this house. You see a corner in front of inside this house. Mm. That's where they put them and then start shooting. Are, them are and these and bullets? No. These are the bullets. They didn't change anything. Wow. Everything you see here is very These are bullets? Yeah, you yes. see the wall? Yeah. You see, these are bullets. These are bullets. All of these are bullets. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, these are bullets. They haven't changed anything. This is. These are bullets. Cool. Yeah. Wow, look at the. Oh my goodness. Yes. So they went and put them in that corner. Oh there. my God. So they were having some few, like, small guns. That's the one they used to try to protect themselves, but it didn't work. They didn't resist for so many hours, so they end up being killed. But they were just in that corner. So one of the reasons why I love being in Kigali is the fact that it's super organized. I mean, listen, it's Sunday, today is car free day, no car moves on Sunday. And listen, I'm walking in the main street, just having a great time as if the whole country belongs to me. You know, it doesn't belong to me, but today no car moves till 2 p.m. Is it 2 p.m. or 12 p.m.? Or 10? Yeah? Yeah? It's around 10 a.m. So you see, it's almost 10. And wow. the only thing you can see is a motorbike. It's always good to be back in this beautiful city. And this city will forever be in my heart. When you are content creators, you always want to create content. So, I mean, I'm not doing anything extraordinary because whatever you see, I've done it before. But I have a brother. Rashid is creating the content, so I need to support. So yeah, let's just take the bike and head to the city center. Yeah, actually the city center. We're going to the convention center. So yeah, 
Let's just go. One of the best things to do whenever you are in Kigali is to use the motorbike, man. It's really efficient, very safe, and believe me, the roads are so smooth, so you're gonna have a great time riding in the street of Kigali. I love this, man. Most people, you know, like um, they go slowly, they respect the traffic, and it's amazing and free. Where are you going? Where are you all going? <laughs> Good! The sun in Kigali hits so hard. Huh? You know, I, I'm from Ghana and I'm still saying the sun hits so hard, which means that the sun today, it's a stream. I mean, this is my first time coming to Kigali, being hit by a heavy sun like this, man. Woo! But yeah, this is one of my favorite places in the country, uh, the convention center. And um, yeah, I remember the first time that I came here when I was doing a video about the organized city. I sat somewhere right here. The video I did of uh, me being deported, I sat somewhere right over there. So I mean, this place got uh, a lot of memories for me. And um, I did lots of videos in here when ALU was here, the, uh, the African Leadership University, when it was here. I did, I did some nice videos from this side, man. Most of my videos were filmed in here. I was just sitting here and making the videos. I even did a video about Rwanda, yeah. right over there. I like the whole, I was, I was just changing the, what do you call it, the background. Yeah, the background. So I film, I was say I film over five different episodes from here. Yeah. By just changing background. You know, you look Ethiopian or Eritrean? Eritrean. Eritrean. <laughs> Let me take a picture with you. Of course, why not? Wow, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the YouTuber one, right? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Great, nice to see you. Yeah. He wants to take yeah. a photo. Okay. <laughs> thank you. I show you every time. Oh, every wow. Time. I like it. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, I'm you, man. Very hard worker. I'm really appreciate you. I like you. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Thank you so much. You live here? Yeah. All right. No, I'm coming from Seattle, Washington. Oh, OK. Yeah. OK, I'm to visit. OK, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great business in Rwanda. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thank you. you. Wow, I feel like one day the entire Africa will embrace the content that I do because it's super crazy to see Africans from different parts of Africa telling me that hey I watch your videos which which is incredible man you know I thought they were Rwandese but they are from Eritrea I'm inspired I've planned a lot um, you are authentic you are impactful you are I was gonna say you will change the world but you're already changing the world in your own way <laughs> Um, and you know, mo most importantly, you are humble, you remember where you came from, wow. have very strong roots. When you have strong roots, you can grow too yeah, yeah. wide. Mm. So, yeah, I'm sharing you on, I'm rooting for you, and I'm very honored that you, you know, honored my podcast. And you no, came. thank yeah. you so much for having me. Yeah. I really I appreciate yeah. you, and I wish you all the best. Thank and, you. um, I believe that, um, you all can check out this <laughs> podcast out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I just this is like my seven to two hours in Kigali. I'm, I think I'm even late to the airport. <laughs> yeah. But I just had to honor this invitation oh, by doing you. this for her. So yeah, um, if Alizy. you can tell us your name and what you do. Hi guys, my name is Anizi and I'm the host of the Fathom with Anizi podcast. We are on Apple, Buzzsprout, Spotify. So find us there. We are also on Instagram at Fathom with Anizi. So please go check it out. Check us out. Hi. <laughs> so it's about it's about time for me to head to the airport. I see Nick waiting yes, for me, kicking, checking that it, the time is up. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the airport. Producer, you're not showing your face, by the way. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the airport. Everything that has a beginning has an end, and the time has come for me to head to Kenya to go see my wife. And um, yeah. I came here without a bag, but at least I'm going home with another bag, thanks to the ABH team. So yeah, come along with me, let's head to the airport. I just 
I, my plane is around five o'clock, so I still have a, a bit of time. So yeah. No, 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 no! I need to go. No, no, I need to go home. No, please, no! I need to go home. I, I, you want me to miss my flight? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. You're to be with you home, right? No, definitely. All the best, yeah? Bye-bye. Ha, -bye. Oh, that was crazy. She didn't want me to come out. I've never seen Maria. Oh, hi. Very nice. Very. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Are you going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My friend. Don't cry. I will see you in Egypt today. You come to Morocco. You now I'll see, I'll, I'll see you in Morocco. Yeah. Hi. I'll see you in Egypt. Of course. In Nairobi. In Nairobi. Now I'm going to Nairobi, so you can't see me in Nairobi. I'm going to Nairobi now. You behave in Nairobi. You know we are in laws. Yeah. Bye bye. Maybe slow motion. Oh, slow motion. See you in Nairobi. From Uganda, yeah? yeah. See you, bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my god. Alright, please do. Please do. Okay, man. Alright, bye. Bye bye. Bye. Time to say goodbye. I'll see you all when I get to the airport. After seven to two hours, I have my bag. I came here with my bag and I spent the whole time in Kigali without my bag. So I'm taking the bag home to my next destination. It's the first time something like that has ever happened to me, man. But either way, I'm so exhausted, man. I just can't wait to get to Kenya and um, sleep for very long hours. Time to say goodbye and I'll see you all in Kenya.